Uh, the popular dating app Tinder, you know that, right? You yes. Know, yes. Where single swipe right and left on people that they like. Mm -hmm. Well, apparently not everyone's so single. Mm-hmm. A new survey from Global Web Index says that four out of ten people on Tinder are either in a relationship or married. <gasps> oh. Four out of ten. That's mm -hmm. a lot. Most uh, of the people yeah. said who signed up said they aren't really looking to actually date, that they only did it out of curiosity and it helped boost their self-esteem. Right. Wow. Yeah, right. The problem, however, is that these people aren't telling their partner that they signed up. And when they see the app on their phones, you know, the other person, mm -hmm. huge fights can occur and actually in relationships or marriages. So, no. ladies, do you think it's okay for people in relationships to be fishing in the dating pool? No. no. Why? Mm. I'm gonna flee from temptation, not run to it. Okay. That just sounds crazy to me. <laughs> right? I don't get it. If you're on Tinder, that means you're doing something or you're not fully happy with right. Why are people so right. greedy? I think people just being yeah. greedy. Right? You know, you got your married person. Yeah. Let me find a person that I want to be with. Let right. me find yeah. my because everybody and wants to have their cake and eat it too. The That's craziest true. part about this is, if you want to cheat, this seems like not a very smart way to go about it. Like, clearly you want to get caught. First of all, they make you put a picture of yourself up on the app. Mm -hmm. So, this obviously, if you have single girlfriends and they see your husband, on Tinder, they're gonna tell yeah, you about it and you're gonna course. get caught, it's just dumb. And it's a small world too. Tinder yes. is such a major app. I know friends who know their friends, who have dated their friends, and they all tell each other and their friends. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So the yeah. web is thick. I do think, however, that it is wise to multi-date. I do. I do think it's important to date and keep your options open if you're not married. Yeah. And if the other person is very well aware that got you it. are still swiping. You know yes. what I'm saying? Yeah. You have gotta be honest. <laughs> I just kicked Lonnie under the table. So <laughs> okay. I was like, oh, sorry about move, that. I'm okay, over. but this is my thing. <laughs> if you are married, under what circumstance should you be doing this and your spouse be like, it's cool, right. he's just doing it because... No. Yeah. Well, I, I... No, 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 no. No, right? Like, who's dumb enough to believe, babe, I just want to look at who's available? Yeah. What? That yeah. sounds insane! Well, I mean, for some people, though, it might be a self-esteem boost. Because I can it's see like, why they're, they're saying that. Right. Yeah. You know, they feel a little bit bad. Yo, like, why what doesn't boost see? your self-esteem? Right? That's, no, and then that's the no. issue. Yeah, there's a lot of marriages where they're broken, and they're not focused on fixing their marriage, so they're selfish and they're going the selfish. rascal right way about it, which is just to swipe to go make themselves feel better, because just one photo doesn't mean that you're pretty on the inside either, okay? So yes. don't get that Or they bad. might be going through a bit like crisis, yes. so they kind of use the app as a way to kind of boost their self-esteem yes. that way to see if they still hot and they still available. Yes. But that's not the way to do it. You need to talk to your partner about that. Of course. That. That's, that's okay. Right. And yeah, here's but the problem. I'm saying, like, as the wife, like, if, you're, if your husband was like, Oh, babe, I just want to see that I... It's a I, wrap. I still it's have a Exactly. Wrap. Like, no, anybody no, no, with no. some sense would be like, nah, fam, I'm not staying in this. And like, to further explain that's that. That's disrespectful. The reason is because whether or not you're just swiping just for the sake of swiping, it doesn't matter what you're doing or what you intend to do. Right. It looks shady as all hell get out yeah. because you shouldn't be swiping in the first place. For you, Adrian, I mean, I feel like once you get married and yeah. you're happily married, that confidence in itself makes you boost your self-esteem. Yes. Yes. Like, guys are, you know, they'll still, you know, look or whatever, but yeah. I don't know. I used to say, though, looking for when that. I was married, I used to say, the moment we started looking at other people, the moment you start yes. wanting or start feeling good about yourself when other people are noticing, that's when you've let it gone too far already. Yeah. That's when your marriage is already going down the, the drain and you're letting it go for down sure. the drain. Yeah. Yeah. Also, it's tempting. Even if you don't, if you that's just want to... It's, it's, it's a tempting thing, because you might see something that you really like. So I wouldn't suggest that you do it, you know, unless you talk to your person, your partner, whoever it is, yeah. but I, it, you just leave it alone. If I'm you're saying. in an open marriage, whatever floats your boat, but if the other person doesn't know, that's right. just not cool. Just